Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Thursday morning, May 27th, we are looking at the SPY's market profile along with IWM and Triple Q here on Window Trader. And just a couple of minutes ago, uh, it looked like it was just announced, more money to be printed, over $6 trillion. Um, so the, the free money continues. Uh, we have inside days. Even though they popped this market and spy an ES on that, look at how visual it was. We were trading down here. We barely took out yesterday's low pre-market, and look where the high went up to. Didn't get to yesterday's high, and we're right back at the park. So, uh, again, meaningless headlines send algos into a frenzy. Um, triple Qs, which we're looking Remember, we all had inside days yesterday. Triple Qs initially were looking to possibly gap lower out of an inside day. They're now at the bottom of their range. Russell is looking in the middle of their range. They're looking to maybe gap high. Again, we still have 75 minutes to go. And for us, the ES and SPY, we're looking at the lower end of our range. Now we're smack in the middle. Well, at least maybe we'll get some volume and volatility today. Uh, I'm still not, uh, I'm tempering my expectations on it, but you never know. So destinations on the upside. First one uh, will be, right now since we're above the park, uh, 419.57, which is our overnight high right now. And then yesterday's high, 419.61, 420.71 daily high. You should have the other ones above that. For the downside right now, we have the 10 wide at 418.79. So if in the next 75 minutes we open below that, it will become an upside destination. Then we have yesterday's low, 417.76. Today's pre-market low, 417.69, 417.62 daily low, 417.08 daily low. Amazing how the overnight low and overnight high are just smack next to the yesterday's high and low. So, game plan for this morning. Well, inside day, we talk about this all the time. You go with it and you monitor it for continuation or lack of. I said yesterday... H is, yesterday's high is really my big point, right? And yesterday's low. If you take it out inside day up, we'll see if they could end up grinding and pac manning the rest of these single prints, not single prints, sell tail really, from, uh, from May 25th. On the flip side, if we end up going back down to where we were and we're able to take out yesterday's low, Tuesday's low should fall rather easily and then they should at least attempt to get to Monday's low. And I'd look for a short play. Now, below Monday's low, there's nothing into that 414 level. Same on the upside. If we're able to finally take out Tuesday's high, fill the single prints from the 10th, which we just missed, there's nothing until that weekly high. So both sides would have an opportunity to get some decent distance if they're able to come out of this inside day. Now, the big question is, Who's going to be around to do it, right? The volume's been horrendous so far this weekend, uh, this week, with the holiday weekend coming up. So that remains to be seen. But if we do get any type of trend day, either above the uh, inside day or below the inside day, you need to go with it and monitor it for continuation or lack of. Amazing how we're right back to park after that, by the way. Mindless algos ripping the uh, market. And then, again on the chart... We have two days to go in the month. Monthly is very healthy. The weekly right now is an inside week up. 418.20. We're right back to 418.87 now, pre market, basically unchanged. So, again, it's a big balance in the weekly, just like the Russell is. And on the daily, one time framing up five days. It's the one thing the buyers have in their advantage. We'll see if they can take out yesterday's high and continue that. Remember, yesterday's range was very small. If we had any ability to move this market today, you could easily take out both sides. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.